Bye. Hope I made a decent intro and uh, now I'm gonna show you how to make this and then uh, we're gonna make the whole sweater okay let's start so we start with the yellow we do a crisscross <laughs> pick up the first one and pull through and now we have a circle thing we chain three and then we're gonna do ten double crochets inside the circle so I messed up on this one and you have to do eleven so by the way I'm gonna link the tutorial I learned this from in the description but I made a few changes along the way because uh, like um, it worked better for me and then yeah this is why I'm making another tutorial so you can see how I did it exactly okay now you have 12 little things in total and then we're gonna pull this and close it Hey, it's that easy. Okay, and then we're gonna leave this hang and not do anything with it. And then we're gonna put our needle through the third little crochet thing right here. There's the first, uh, second, and third. Oh, and by the way, you can tie this off. And then cut it. Okay, and now we grab our white or the next color for the petals and uh, yeah, pull it through. We chain five. That's the important part. And uh, like try and make this little end disappear somewhere this is the last petal here so we're gonna start our first petal with a double crochet. Oh no, it's a triple crochet actually. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> Those are some cool ones, remember? We yeah, have forgot to say it. Here is the thing, and then this is the next thing here between these things. <laughs> I'm very good at making tutorials. So we do three triple crochets and then when the last one is done we take out our needle leave two things and then in the third one we put our needle and pull through yes and now it's a petal thing hopefully and then chain two Yes, and we repeat it in the next one.
Okay, so let's say you've reached the end and uh, I had to do two petals in one thing because for some reason I didn't have enough. You have to have 12 petals uh, or 11 at this point and we're doing the last one. So yeah, you do two triple crochets and then connect these two to this uh, you have to leave two chains here and um, connect these somehow okay yeah and connect this like like you've done it 11 times already pull through once more snip and then it's done and then we connect the black in a similar way, we've done it with the white, chain 3 with the black. Okay, chain 3. And then, let's do just simple double crochets next to it. Two double crochets actually. Let's start off with a corner. So we chain two, like with the petals, and then do three double crochets in the same little place. This is supposed to be a corner, and then we're gonna continue with chaining only one. And in the next one, again, three double crochets and then chain one next and you're gonna do two singular ones and then the next one's gonna be a corner like this again okay if you've reached the end on this and chained one you just have to connect these just like this pull through both and then chain five, just like with the petals. And this seems like a lot, but you're gonna need it. And uh, in this next round, we're gonna do corners in the corners, just like I did here. So we're not gonna leave two, we're gonna leave out three singular things like this and do corners in the corners. Okay, now looks like we've reached the last part and we're just gonna do two double crochets and then leave one chain out and connect it with, with it just like that. Pull through both and do a snip and you're done. And then make this disappear somewhere, <laughs> somewhere in the back. Now let's make the ribbing for the sleeves and the bottom. So starting with the slip knot, I chained exactly 10 because that sounds like a nice number. And then we chain one more plus one and uh, start doing single crochets right in the first one and uh, you have to do this twice of course for two sleeves and then again for the edge of for the bottom of the cardigan yeah <laughs> okay when we're done all the way we have to flip this we chain one and then like there's the first one and then we just uh, do single crochets in the back loop you know there's front loop and back loop and repeat yes i have a lot of squares but I don't have enough squares. 
I literally only have to make one. Let's put this together. Stop! I'm tired of seeing it! So you have two of these things and you wanna connect them. The question is, how do you want it to look? Like, uh, you can make it look like stitches like I did or you can like do the other side and make it look like a bigger seam or something. So we have two single crochets here and we're gonna insert into one of them. Then grab your thread like this and pull it through. Make it regular single crochet. And just like that, you go along the whole length. And when we get to the end, we do another single crochet and snip it. And then just pull it tight and you're done. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. I crocheted so much today. Uh, <laughs> okay, but I rearranged it again, so I have two by three for the arms and of course I have two of them and uh, three by three for the back and three and two for the two front pieces. Uh, like one more day and it's done. I can't believe it. I'm finally done. As you can see, it's very cute, kind of small. I say it's, it was intentional and not because I literally ran out of all the threads. Like, uh, this is all the black thread I have left. But you know, of course I'm very happy with it. I made all this myself. Let's roll the aesthetic shots. Feel free to question what I'm wearing. <laughs>